The Boyle Seminar in Scripts and Stories at St. Michael's College is part of the SMC1 series and it is a first year seminar that is designed to bring together the strengths of medieval studies and Celtic studies to offer students an interdisciplinary introduction to manuscript studies and to working with the often baffling sources of medieval history. Uh, one of the things that we aim to do when we're introducing students to the tools of history is just introduce them to all aspects of a manuscript. And of course a manuscript is a document that is handwritten, scriptus cum manu, the hand. And when something of course is written by hand, it stands to reason that there must be some sort of instrument that is involved in the writing. And for medieval manuscripts this of course was the quill pen. The quill cutting and the exercise in penmanship, in paleography, reading the handwriting in the manuscripts, this was just another aspect of a much broader theme of practical application of theoretical knowledge. As part of the physicality that we wanted to introduce, we thought it was very, very important for them to actually um, make their own quills and uh, write with their own quills. This idea of bringing to life once again the original materials of the manuscript and of manuscript production is very evocative so the students respond to it. So we spend quite a lot of time in the course talking about how we go from cow to page. I thought the study of manuscripts, old manuscripts and medieval age was very inaccessible to me. I'm very connected to the people who wrote manuscripts in the medieval times. Writing a manuscript was a whole process, preparing the parchment and then the quills. It's very good to learn the process. We wanted to, for example, introduce a very tactile element of learning, a different mode of information, and that is basically letting students handle manuscripts. We wanted to break down that wall and show them that there was nothing to be afraid of, but that these are objects of curiosity to us still. When Professor Alisson brought a parchment uh, and we were all like, oh, we can't touch, we need gloves. And they said, no, you can touch, you know, let's try use the quills. So it's amazing to make those connections. <laughs> Manuscripts themselves are, these things have lasted for hundreds, often even for a thousand years. Yes, it is difficult to read them on every level, but in some ways that's less important than just knowing exactly what sorts of stories it can tell and how basically human history is, has been formed largely from stories. It's funny because when you study the past, you think more about the future.